Hey everyone. Candace, you got a question? So I'm curious, does being named an all-star change how you view yourself at this stage in your career? Good question. You know, it, uh, it's, it, it shows that I've arrived ahead of schedule when it comes to being a star in this league. You know, most folks my age are in the Rising Stars Challenge. You know, I'm going to be out there on Sunday night like LeBron and MJ. And that, that's where I belong. So what does being named an all-star mean to you off the court? Are there any endorsement opportunities you're particularly interested in? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm really hoping this means I can finally get my own signature sneaker. You know, I know the streets are thirsty for it. You know, I believe my time has come. <laughs> are you a sneakerhead? Oh, without a doubt. You know, I love all my hype beast stuff. Hey, if it's super rare, I'm into it. Rest assured. All right, how about an easy question? John? Hey, man, congrats on clinching the playoff berth. Ha, ah, thanks, John. Thank you. What are you going to do to prepare for your first postseason run? Uh, yeah, man, I've, you know, I've been talking to the vets all season, and they've been great to me, you know, getting me in the right mindset for whatever situation, so... You know, they give me some good advice about preparing for the playoffs, and I'm just trying to take it all in, man. That's really it, you know. Learn as much as I can. I can't complain, man. They've really been great to me. Sounds like you guys really get along as a team. Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. I mean, this is a super close group. Uh, you know, we like hanging out with each other. You know, it's not just business all the time. You know, so that's, a, that's, that's really great to be a part of. You know, I think it'll help us, you know, come playoff time, you know, when things can get heated. You know, we're not gonna run off and, you know, turn on each other no matter what happens. So I think that's what everyone loves to see is a great team with great team chemistry. Take us into your mind. How does it feel to make the playoffs in your rookie season? I mean, you must be pretty excited. Excited? Not really, man. You know, I'm pretty cold-blooded, I guess. You know, so when I go out there, I'm a killer. Oh, I see. I mean, you can't just go out there, and, you know, against the best players and players in the world like you, some kid at Disneyland, John. I'm not out there to ride Space Mountain. I'm here to destroy you, and I'm getting excited off that. Sounds like you're pretty locked in, fam. I'm a buzzsaw. Fantastic. All right, cool. Uh, I think I'm done. You guys have a good night. What up, what up, coach? MP, we got one heck of a matchup tonight. Yeah, I know. And I can't wait to get out there and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, too. Well, I've been working on the whiteboard for the last couple hours. He's trying to figure out how to slow him down. All right, all right. Let me see what you got here. Pretty much you just need to outplay him. I need you to set the tone for the whole team. They're going to be taking their cues from you, and I'm really counting on you to get the upper hand in all aspects of the game. Well, you know that won't be easy, man. You're talking about one of the best players in this league. Better than you? <laughs> no. Not at all. That's what I want to hear.
Richard, we're seeing a lot more back-to-backs now at this mid-portion of the season. What are those like to play in for a player? Oh, they are fun because it's a mental challenge and it's a physical challenge more than anything on that one. But I love it. I am not opposed to back to backs because you know what? There were players that used to have to play them and fly on flights in the morning. Now we get to fly on private jets. So if they can do it, we can do it. And you got to get your rest, though, between those no. games, don't you? Yeah, yeah. you got to get your rest. You got to get your sleep. But do not eliminate the back to backs. I love it. Now the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Middleton the small forward with Giannis Antetokounmpo as the power forward. Membry out there with Holiday, and it's Portis in at the center. For the Milwaukee Bucks, they come in off the loss to the Trailblazers in Portland. James in the post, defended by Middleton. LeBron, no good. David Aldridge had a chance to catch up with head coach Darvin Ham. Uh, David, what do you have to say? Thanks, Kevin. Looking at these matchups, he thinks they can pound the ball inside with success. He wants them to get points in the paint early, force the defense to collapse, and then play inside out. We'll see if the opponent sticks to that game plan as well, guys. Thank you, David. Inside. And Holiday throws it down. And Holiday's nimbleness gets him to the hoop on that one. His athletic ability is off the charts. Here's lights out. And that one's good by Davis. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Holiday gets the bucket. Oh, a nifty finisher. You didn't think Holiday would back down inside, did you? to Beverly dishes it to Uzo Lakers working the ball around now and the shot is good look the moment he gets it anywhere near the hoop look it is over just too much strength too much touch either hand after the Kumbo finds Portis Holiday looking for an opening Pass to Giannis. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Out. Out to a hot start. Four makes and five shots to begin this ball game. And now in his 14th NBA season, just one all-star appearance for Drew Holiday, but that belies his greatness as a player. Now here's Adetokounmpo after the miss from White's out. The kick out to Holiday. Hits it from three-point range. Holiday's got seven points in the game. You gotta respect the range of Holiday if you're the D, showing he can hurt you from that area. And he comes up with the deuce. You know, Greg, you can make the case. Drew Holiday is the prototypical to a guard. You know, and defense can sometimes go overlooked. Just one All-Star game, but Drew's impact perhaps greater than some other players with multiple All-Star seasons. See, that miss, that miss right there. It's why teams try to avoid the mid-range jumper these days. Uzo, the pass to Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. That's exactly what you want to see from AD, using that length and that athleticism to cause problems. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played. Outside Holiday. Picks it down to Middleton. There's the triple. And another three for Milwaukee. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Here's Davis. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws. array of moves and shots he has in his bag. He's also outstanding defensively too. Able to guard multiple positions. Unlike a lot of perimeter-oriented teams, GA offensively, the Bucks can really play inside out. No doubt. And, and teams pack in the lane against Milwaukee, but Giannis in particular is a terrific passer. And if you leave a shooter open, he tends to find it. Here's Zuzi. No points in the game yet for him. Davis setting the pick for Beverly. A fader. And the shot goes down. 
and it's all knotted up. Now understand this, when LeBron James entered into the league in 2003, that's when lots of players were actually taking mid-range jumpers. Now here is Holiday. He has seven. That's his fourth basket of the game, and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. Ooh, he's on a bit of a heater now. He hasn't missed one this quarter yet. Now the pass to Beverly. Loads it up for Davis. Well-placed alley pass into the layup. Our premier player in this league, Davis, with another huge night showing why he is an NBA champion. And so it's Holiday with it. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. And there's the drive. And Holiday throws it down. It puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, GA. He really does put pressure on you. Yeah, hard to strategize for a guy who can make a pass or a play like this right in your face. And it's Davis with the jam. High IQ pass by LeBron. He reads the floor and gets it to the open shooter. Looking at the last game for Milwaukee, it was a loss to the Trailblazers. Total embarrassment. I, I was shocked at how poorly they played. I, I think they were shocked. Well, we'll see how they respond after that weak performance. It should tell us a lot about their character as a team. The Lakers with the rebound. They traveled to Milwaukee last time they faced the Bucks, and they came away with a win. Well, they, they coasted to the win in that one were dominant in the rebound department and that was a huge factor and if they can keep that same physicality you have to think they'll be in a good position to grab another win here and the Bucks with possession here after the miss from lights out here's Middleton goes back up that one's not going to go great D that time from lights out slow going for him this quarter the defense putting up a good fight to the right side. From past the arc, gets the three-pointer to fall. Punch, counterpunch. Impressive offensive production early on. You have to think at this point the winner will be the one to settle in on defense. Holiday with the three. Giannis inside. Working on Ilyasova. And with his length and explosiveness, it's never a surprise to see Giannis get points on the offensive glass. Great nose for the ball. Lakers passing it around. Here's LeBron. And LeBron throws it down hard. Oh, okay. I guess LeBron wanted that one to sting a little. He put a little extra on that one. Nice job capturing the moments on the AT&T 5G slam camp. Now here's Giannis. Last game out, we saw him pour in 42. He gets that one. Ante de has got his third bucket of the night. Oh, man, he's feeling it this quarter. They should be looking to get him going every trip down the floor. James, the pass to Davis. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. 16 points for Anthony Davis. Just some quick thinking from AD. Doesn't want to give the D any time to react. Just catch it and shoot. some change they can't guard you at you're Bucks trail by eight on the court for Milwaukee here in the second a talented pair of Middleton and Giannis in at forward Holiday out there with Bember and it's Lopez in at the five roaming the paint now here's Adedekumbo He's off from 17 feet. You know what? Just a little fancy on that possession there. Just go up in rhythm. And they pick up two. Lights out's got the lead up to 10 now for the Lakers. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Here's Middleton. He's coming off a 19-point game against the Trailblazers in Portland. Adetokounmpo, no good. Lakers leading by 10. Walker dishes to Uzi. Passes it to Ilya Sova. Kicks it to Uzi. He's looking for LeBron and finds it. And it's good for two. James has got 10 points in the game. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Pass to Bembry. 
Here's Giannis. And that one's on target from the wing. And this is an area where Giannis wants to improve. I think the key for him to continue to grow is to shoot those with confidence. Here's Davis. Second shot opportunity. From D, Billy Isova. Davis. Davis on the follow. He's got 18. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Bucks trail by 12. Here's Yacht. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got. bigs in our game. Milwaukee making a switch here. Portis has checked in. But Greg, we see it every year. Those overachieving teams in the NBA. What enables them to be greater than the sum of their parts? Well, listen, luck can play a part, but confidence is a huge factor as well. If you walk into that gym every night believing you'll find a way to win, oftentimes you do. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. Hey guys, lights out in their last game against the Thunder had a nice performance. He finished with 32 points and his passing was just incredible. He piled up an impressive number of assists. He put up great numbers in a terrific effort. It's not a game that anyone wanted to miss. And he'll be looking for a repeat performance tonight, Kevin. Thank you, David. You're right. He was a one-man wrecking crew in that one. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same attitude tonight. And I'll be interested to see if the opposition looks to double him because this should open up opportunities for his teammates to get going. Uzo, good, and the assist goes to James. LeBron's got his fourth assist in this one. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Giannis kicks to Portis outside Holiday. Down low, here's Giannis. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. It's just one of those nights where he's been very good, but his team is losing, and that's just an odd feeling. There's the screen. Here's Walker. And he uses the glass on the way up. Walker's got his first bucket in this one. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Outside Holiday. Portis trying to free himself. The layup off target. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Here's Uzo. Guarded by Holiday. And that one drops. Nine points for lights out. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. Giannis passes to Portis. Right side Holiday. To the middle. Here's Giannis. Goes up again, and he lays it up and in. Giannis has got 16. And he has been on fire this quarter in terms of his scoring. Hopefully, that fire spreads to his other guys and they can rally. Uzo, the pass to James. Oh, and the jam by LeBron. Like at this point in time, like you have to understand that if LeBron James is on the inside, he has so many ways to beat you. A little contact's not going to do anything. Bucks trail by 16. Pass to Giannis. Portis against Davis. The shot by Middleton. Wide open. Misses off the right iron. Surprising he didn't bury that, but hey, that happens sometimes. And the picture of consistency, Chris Middleton is like a metronome. Gives you 20 points over five rebounds and assists every year. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Taken away. Right side to Walker. And the foul on Drew Holiday. That is his of the game. The Lakers making a switch here. Beverly's checked in. Uzo, the pass to James. There's the three. Count it. And he's now 8-9 from the floor. 
And one reason for Middleton's consistency, he plays at his own pace. And that's a great point, Kevin. With his size and shooting touch, he doesn't need to blow by his man to score. All about getting to his spots. And here's Middleton after LeBron James hitting the three. Davis dishes to Uzi. That one drops for him. 13 points in the game. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Lakers. Anadokounmpo kicks to Bembry. Milwaukee, no good that time either. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in cracking this huge lead. Boy, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. For the Lakers, they won their last contest that game against Oklahoma City. Great communication on the alley-oop. And a terrific offensive display here from Giannis, just reminding us of how dominant he can be. And they double up LeBron. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Love the heart on defense. Titles the Lakers have piled up over the years. And because of their success and the big market, it's L.A. It is showtime. That's how they get players like Shaquille O'Neal and LeBron James. Players want to play in L.A. because it's beautiful and there's a winning tradition. Los Angeles making a switch here. Toscano Anderson's checked in. Anacumbo setting the pick for Middleton. Misses the three. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 23 points. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Now oh, here's Giannis. He's got 18. Up and in on the layup. Giannis has got 20. And even though they're down, it's not on him. He's been lights out on offense for them this quarter, especially. Here's Uzi, guarded by Holiday. Outside for Davis. Five on the clock, and stolen by Portis. Middleton against Beverly. Shooting foul as the... In three games. So as we conclude the first half, so far fairly one-sided. Lakers lead by 19. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back All out right, here for the start of the third three. quarter after this our halftime. Hello, basketball fans. Anthony Davis has been the story of this game so far. An incredible start. You look at his work on the glass. It's really about the attitude, guys. You have to want those boards. This guy's been eating. That's right. Hey, Kenny, can you pass me the salt? Chomp, chomp. I get it. Chomp, chomp. Yeah, so much rebounding is <laughs> about desire, Shaq. But it also is pretty good that you can still chomp, chomp and have a good position in there. Great to hear from you two champions. Ooh. Ooh, you guys are just mad that I didn't bring you any. Ernie, can you pass me the soda? Thank you. Okay, time to discuss the first half of this one. Specifically, which guys are leading the charge for their teams? Great battle between these two. They take a lot of pride in how they approach the game, and it seems like they're playing with extra enthusiasm tonight. Yeah, those elite matchups, man, they can bring the best out of you. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You know, Davis has been exceptional here, guys. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. 
but I don't think that that's the most important thing to him. Sure, putting up big numbers doesn't hurt, but he's all about getting the win over everything else. Patrick Beverly out there with lights out. Then it's Ilyasova. Then there's Davis. And it's James in at the three. That's the group starting the second half for Darvin Ham. Lakers leading by 17. They set the pick. They kick out to Ilyasova. Here's Uzi, guarded by Holiday. Fades and shoots. And a little luck that time, but it drops. 17 points for lights out. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. If he has space in the mid-range, he'll let it fly. Doesn't matter if the score is tied or they are up big. Now Middleton. Six to shoot. From downtown. Keeps it alive. Portis on the follow. Oh, smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays in the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? Not surprised at all. He's shooting it well and scoring points in bunches. Here's Middleton. And as you can see from his numbers, he's been a key component in their offense. He's averaging almost 18 points a game. There's the pass to Holiday. Outside Portis. Portis a screen on Beverly. Five to shoot. Bembry misses. And the defense was all over him once he got in close. Didn't want him to get too comfortable. Taking matters into his own head. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. A point guard getting up like that? Boy, that is special. Eliasova against Zandekumbo. Now here is Holiday. He's covered closely. Giannis inside. James covering. Onto the Kumbo. No good. It's Davis with the drop. This will be. what AD does. And that one falls for Anthony Davis. And the Bucks are on a tremendous run here. The, the most consecutive playoff appearances since that streak they had back from 1980 to 91. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks very much, Kevin. Well, of course, Giannis is the Bucks' leader, but it's still Coach Bud who calls the shots. Giannis says, as players, we have to... Sometimes it won't. Sometimes we're going to execute the game plan, and sometimes I'm not. Not because I don't want to, but it's just not my day. Kevin, that is very, very good perspective. <laughs> Agreed. Thanks, David. Here's lights out. Buries it from three-point range. Lights out's got seven points for the quarter. Greg, and back to the Bucks. The question is, how much longer do you think is their window? That's just it, Kevin. They've got the players to win now. Nice job working with MP this year, coach. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Here's Holiday. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. That is just ridiculous. He is just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to say. Bronze 
game has evolved, it seems like his distribution has gotten even better. Yeah, more than ever, he's really sharing the load, getting others involved. In 2020, he led the league in assists for the first time in his career. Proof that he's just a team-first player. On the wing, Holiday. 13 points in the game. Tries from 10. Here's Young. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at... The wonders of technology. We've seen replay reviews so effectively and involving the coaches by being able now. The challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. The ruling on the floor is overturned. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air. So they have determined to overrule the original call. And guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. Here's Zuzu, guarded by Holiday. It's Thornbond, it's a Kumbo. It's three on three on the fast break. For three, Middleton. And it's headed to Kumbo, picking up the assist. Middleton's got seven. And I tell you, Antetokounmpo has evolved into one of the better passing forwards in our league. And when the defense is focused on you that much, you need to be able to find the open man. Fires from deep. And another three for Milwaukee. And keeping the defense honest, every team in our league practically begs Giannis to take that shot. Uzo, the pass to Davis. Can he keep it going? Headshot off. Great D that time from Portis. Anadokounmpo kicks to Middleton. Passes to Holiday. Here's Bembry. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. James looking around. Here's Uzi. Guarded by Holiday. Lights out with the bucket. Lights out's got nine points now in just the second half. And shooting-wise, he's been fantastic, helping to build this lead. Here's Giannis, and out of the Kumbo with the jam. And that move has become second nature for Giannis. Once he establishes position, game over. Here's Davis. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Davis has got seven points here in this quarter. Bucks trail by 21. Out of kicks to Portis. Right side Holiday. Pass to Giannis. The fadeaway. Shot clock at six. And the double up out of Middleton for three. And a great assist by out of as that one goes in. Giannis has got three assists now in this one. Lakers leading by 18. Here's Lights Out. Goes to the reverse layup and claps it in. Lights Out's got 26. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Here's Bembry. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And Middleton kicks to Holiday. Davis with some nice D. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. And there's the call on Giannis Antetokounmpo. That is his first foul of the game. Now only one away from being in the penalty. Bonnie Walker, he's checked in for Patrick Beverly. The Bucks also with the sub. Lopez, he's checked in for Bobby Portis. And here's LeBron outside. Connects from three-point range. He's got 23. When you're guarding LeBron, you have to give him something. So the King, well, he'll take a three-point basket. 
Outside Holiday. Pass to Giannis. And they double up Giannis. Shot clock at five. Here's Holiday. Hits it down to Middleton. With the fadeaway. And Davis pulls it down. Davis is Lakers leading by 23. Here's Uzo. He's got 26. And that's off the glass and in. And man, is he in his zone right now. Seems like he can't miss. The pass to Holiday. Lopez outside. Milwaukee getting another chance here. Giannis a screen on Walker. Takes it down to Middleton. Can they get it? Trains it from beyond the arc. Middleton's got nine points here in the second half. Boy, they've been terrific from beyond here in the second. On deep, Ilyasova. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. LeBron's got assist number five here tonight. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Giannis passes to Lopez. Middleton for three. Score the basket is fifth of the game. He's missed six shots against those five makes. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor spacing. Yeah, and you got to know where he is at all times, especially when he's roaming around the perimeter ready to fire. Throw it high and watch Davis fly. Wow. And so it's Holiday with it. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Outside, out of the Kumbo. No good there. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. On the wing, James. To the paint, Walker. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Under the Kumbo with the ball. Now defended by out lights bounds. out. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. Violation, they are really... Pete, let's close this one out. Play smart. Jabaka and Middleton subbed in for Allen. Feeds to Davis. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one. Offensive end helping them to maintain that lead. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. And the Bucks making a change here. Hills checked in. So with Holiday sitting on the bench, this is Mike Budenholzer's lineup. The four and five. Giannis and Portis. Joe Ingles is out there with Hill. And it's Middleton in at the small forward. And Hill throws it down. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, great chemistry on display. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. Lights out with the bucket. Why fade away there? Just making the shot more difficult, if you have to ask me. Here's Yoss. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play. Again, anything could be a foul, huh? The defense. Giannis flexing the muscles he's added to that near seven foot frame. And Greg, even with teams daring Giannis to shoot from outside, his career three point percentage stuck below 30%. And still an elite scorer because of his proficiency at the rim. But it's been said before if he adds the triple, he'll be truly unguardable. Uzo, the pass to Davis. He can't get it to go. Great D that time from Portis. For Milwaukee, they've gone 8 of 11 from the field in the final period. Great shooting down the stretch. Here's Antetokounmpo. Rebound by Ilyasova. Ilyasova's got four rebounds now tonight. And he drives in. Count it. That's now 32 points for lights out. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, 
No wonder you're losing. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. Passes it to Ingles. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Ilias Ova. LA's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. And finished off by LeBron. And this should come as no surprise. LeBron James is a ridiculous scorer, but this man also knows how to get cooking. Under the Kumbo kicks to Portis. Hill up top. Giannis outside. And the double up Hunter Dekumbo. Lock at six. Middleton can't get it to go. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Here's Zuzu. He's guarded by Hill. Milwaukee with the rebound. Hunter Dekumbo's got rebound number eight now on the night. Pass to Portis. Right side Hill. Fade away. Another shot. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting. Remember it clearly when LeBron James joined the Lakers back in 2018. Yeah, I remember it too because everyone kept asking me where he was going. I didn't know, but this is year five for LeBron. LeBron in LA and obviously even with that 2020 title this town they ask for more and three of these years have been rocky two of the times missing the postseason in a first round exit the first one of Bron's career yeah LeBron is not used to that at all is he not playing in the postseason nope James outside pass to Uzi here's Beverly Let's the three fly, and another three for the Lakers. Yeah, and it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Giannis passes to Portis. Hill looking around. Now the feed to Giannis. Good, the assist goes to Hill. Giannis has got 13 points now in the quarter. And he has been on fire this quarter in terms of his scoring. Hopefully, that fire spreads to his other guys and they can rally. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Well, I credit some of that to their communication out on the floor. They are attacking as a unit. Hill passes to Anadokounmpo. Over Ilyasova. Anadokounmpo, no good. Los Angeles calls timeout. Well, Greg in. with kid gloves you're really not doing and so it's the lakers taking care of business here it was a tale of two teams tonight Nobody one that was in total USC. control operating yeah. flawlessly and the other just searching for answers that they could never find i mean the energy here is just so tremendous fans involved from the get-go and once they started to really pour it on it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective and that'll do it folks this is kevin harlan saying thank you for watching we'll see you next time
Hey everyone. All right, man, why don't you kick us off, Nate? How about that? Congratulations on being named All-Star Captain MP. <laughs> Nate Dog, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. All right, man, talk to me. What is your strategy for choosing your team? Anyone you have in mind that you want to let us know about for your first pick? Oh yeah, man, you already know I got some ideas in my back pocket, but um, I'm trying to put together a winning squad and that means you need a little bit of everything. You need shooting, you need ball handling, passing, defense, you might even need a little bit of razzle dazzle, but uh, <laughs> you know, at this point in the All-Star game, you know, we all just trying to win. All right, well, can you give us some insight into whom uh, you're eyeing on your first oh, pick, man? Come on, Nick, come on. No, don't do that, don't do that. You know I can't tell you that, man. Okay, okay, okay. So what does this say about how you're being viewed among your peers that you're among the leading vote getters? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it reminds me a lot of Grant, my man Grant Hill back when he was a uh, <laughs> leading vote getter as a rookie. Mm -hmm. Yo, thanks, Nate, man. Grant Hill, whew. Grant, is a, he's a smooth cat, man, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I hear he used to be pretty nice on the, on the Pistons back in the day. Yeah, man, he was one of the best players in the league. Come on. That's a fact. That's a fact. I mean, well, I definitely bring a different flavor, you know, but I think the fans and the other players see me as someone, you know, putting a stamp on the league a little bit, you know? You know, I've got a respect for the game for sure, but respectfully, I'm here to disrupt this game. Ooh. You feel me? I mean, people my age grew up watching the Warriors play, like, positionless basketball. And, you know, we play the game differently these days, you know. I consider myself a leader of the vanguard. <laughs> Some bold words, man. Disruptive. But mm -hmm. honestly, you've backed them up so far. Congrats. Thanks, man. Uh, seems like we're done here, huh? All right. See you guys later. So I'm thinking about letting the kids plan the next vacation. 